Hey everyone, I'm Ola and today we are going to play Minecraft for Recipes and Stories. In this video I want to give some tips for the newbies in the game with the help of Cherry Blossom, our moderator on YouTube. So let's go! Okay, so this is a guide for players at initial levels, but if you also have a second cafe and you want to start developing it, it will be useful for you as well, because maybe you will find some really good tips for you. So first of all, guys, when you are at initial levels, don't rush to higher levels, because first, you're going to miss this time when you are still developing your cafe, and second, it is much more profitable to stay on one level and to finish it all in terms of equipment, style, etc., and then proceed to another one. So so the first rule is no rush. But what can help you here, because you really want to earn more money, I mean coins and rubies and you want more profit, is that you can buy your stylish equipment directly. So you go to the bank, definitely, if you have a lot of diamonds, which can happen, I will tell about it later, you can purchase several cup machines straight away. And you can also purchase regular equipment for coins when you have them. I will actually add a link in the description about how much equipment can cost so I can purchase the stylish croissant display case straight away and thus I will be able to get more tips also. Also, if you decide to level up, then do it in short time before your bank refreshes and then you can buy directly a stylish machine without spending money on a correspondence simple machine. So this is rule two. Rule three is leave Anne alone. Even when you are at level eight, just don't hire more stuff, even if it is possible, because you need to gain experience for Anne. And the first thing that you definitely need to do is to upgrade daily simple gift to level level 5 because then she will be able to bring you two simple gifts each day. I have speed upgraded, but don't pay attention to it, you don't need it so far. When Anne is alone in your cafe, she can quickly upgrade her skills and reach skill tier 7. And don't worry, please, she will manage with everyone. The only thing is that when you have tables, you may probably want to replace them by bar counters, they are better so far. When Anne's skill reaches tier 7, you can hire a second staff member, which should be a server, because Anne is a barista and she only serves bar counters while servers serve tables just one person as well because you also need them to raise their skills before you can hire another one at first you will have to serve phone orders or characters orders yourself but this is good guys you are earning rubies that will allow you to buy a new township structure when n gives you two simple gifts a day you need to expand your spice box this is the very thing on which you should spend your diamonds first of all expand your spice box because later on you will be able to serve special orders Orders, which will bring you even more coins. When you have enough slots open in your spice box, like I have done before, you can start buying gifts from Fernando. Buy all four gifts from him straight away, because it's a really good boost. You have the phone orders, which also bring you spices, and you can even refresh them for 10 or 20 diamonds. However, you'd better not do it so far at the initial levels, but at higher levels, it is highly recommended that you refresh at least once. Then you can also join a really good township. It may be a simple one and you can see the township orders there as well they bring you rubies and they bring you additional spices plus if you're going to take part in festival and take festival tasks they will also bring you even more diamonds if you have a good leader you will also be able to get extra bonuses for your participation in festivals another good sources of rubies and spices are definitely temporary customers or event customers like Diego and Nicole or Chloe right now they come at special events and occasions that are carried by the developers for big holidays, for example. They come to every player starting from level 7 at one time, so if you don't have those customers yet, then you should probably have to wait till the next event or till you gain level 7 at least, and then you will be able to take part in all this as well. In theory, so you spend all the stylish equipment and you invest money into the design because design brings you tips. Like right now, American Style gives me 18.98% tips, which is not bad, guys. Then expand your jewelry box at least to level 3 because then you will be able to purchase a stylish township structure. You can make three additional quests at the festival for free. So jewelry box is definitely worth expanding at least to level 3. Also you will need achievement shelves. I have just installed it and this is also a good source of diamonds. For example, you can get gifts, you can fulfill phone orders, play dice with Margaret, play quiz with Bill, sell furniture to Margaret,
Margaret, watch ads, serve dishes by yourself, etc. So actually these are all rules for newbies. These rules were kindly presented by Cherry Blossom, our YouTube moderator, and I will also add a link in the description to her Facebook group with tips and tricks. And I will also add a link to our Pinterest where you can find useful tips. And also please visit our social networks because we also hold different contests there and you get a chance to win a prize or to learn something new. And all in all, this is it. And I wish you good luck in developing your cafe. Well, and thank you so much for playing with me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you didn't, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's play together. If you also want a pin gift, please leave your comment below this video and write some good ideas and tips on how to help new players in the game. I will announce five winners at the end of June because I'm actually leaving for a vacation, so I will be able to read all your comments afterwards. I will still continue releasing my videos each Friday, so subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell to get all the news about the game from my videos. Until then, have fun in the game and see you next time! Bye bye!